everyone and welcome back to another video so in this one i'm doing a saint patrick's day set and i'm using my madame glam gel polishes from the march collection which is the pot of gold collection so i'm using this um white shimmery one called blessing and i'm putting that on the ring finger obviously i'm using the practice hand today so i've already put tips on and i'm going to do two coats of that on the ring finger and then I'm going in with the Velvet Matte Hot Coat because I'm going to start putting um, some nail art on that one. Um, but I'm not doing it just yet. I'm leaving that till I've done the rest of the nails. So on the other nails, I'm using this Builder Gel. This is Baby Pink. And I started off on the pointer finger and I put the gel on light gel polish all over the nail. But then um, I changed my mind because I was going to do a full nail of the gel and then I decided just to do it as sort of a, a fade. So I got the gel brush from Madame Glam and I just removed um, the gel that was on the bottom of the tip. So then um, after that I went in with another bead and I just um, went over that sort of cuticle area and down to like sort of the middle of the nail and then faded it off towards the end of the tip. And then I'm doing exactly the same as that on the middle finger, but then I'm doing it on the pinky finger as well, but I'm not doing that off camera. I'll just show you these two nails. So as usual, um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video. And links to everything that I've used will be in the description box as usual. And so on the index finger, the point finger, I'm going in with the yellow from the Pot of Gold collection, uh, Lucky Charm, I think it's called, and I'm using the gel brush. I don't know why I decided to use the gel brush um, because I was fading the colour up, but I just started doing it and I only realised after I'd sort of finished the nail what a faff it was. So I do this in a few layers. So I cure the first layer and then I go in and I fade a little bit more. Um, now I'm doing that on the middle finger and the pinky finger as well but on the middle finger after I brushed it on I decided to use the sponge these little square sponges that I got from my last uh, Timu haul and so yeah I'm, I'm using the sponge but when you use the sponges it does take a lot more goes than it does using the brush so I had to do this quite a few times but I did get the look that I wanted in the end so yeah, every time I've done a layer, I just cure it for uh, 30 seconds. I don't cure it for 60 because it's such a thin layer that I don't think it really needs 60. So I just did 30 and then I did that like three or maybe four times. And then I've got this Mylar that I also got from Timu and this has got all sorts of different vibrant colours in it. So I decided to try this and like encapsulate it. So I'm using my glitter base coat from Madame Glam and this is the one that I use um, so that I don't get any bits in my good one. And I'm just placing, these are the yellow bits of mylar and I'm just placing those all over the nail. Obviously I've sped this up because it took ages to do this. Um, they kept flipping about and I had to keep turning them over and turning them round and I forgot how annoying it is to work with these bigger pieces of mylar. They do look good in the end but they're such a pain to get on the nail. So yeah, I did it in the end. So when I'm happy with them all, I cure it for 30 seconds. And then I'm going in with these Mylar pieces. And these were from that same haul, but these are like sort of iridescent colours. So the one that shifted to yellow, I'm just putting a few bits of that over that other Mylar that I've already put on. And then I'm curing it when I finish for another 30 seconds and then I'm doing exactly the same thing on the middle finger and on the pinky finger so obviously you can see that I used um, the green on the middle finger and I used the lighter green on the pinky finger and it's the same with the mylar I'm using the darker green one on the middle finger and then the lighter green one on the point, uh, pinky finger So 
So when that's all done and they're all cured, I'm going back in with the Baby Pink Builder Gel and I'm doing another coat of this onto the nail bed area and I'm fading that down over where that colour and that mylar starts. So I'm starting off with a slip layer, I'm leaving that wet and then I'm putting a bigger bead on and that's the one that I feather down to where I want it to end. And I'm doing that on all of the other nails. Uh, so I'm doing that on the middle finger and then on the pinky finger as well. So then after I've done that and that's all cured, the Builder Gel does cure for 60 seconds um, and then I'm going in with Pure Serenity and that is the clear Builder Gel and I'm just going over the tip area just to encapsulate all that mylar and make sure that it's all um, sealed in and it's all protected. So I do it as I did on the nail bed area, I put a slip layer down and then I put a bigger bead on and feather that down and then I just clean up the edges by just brushing along the sides and make sure that there's no lumps and bumps there. So it is a little bit bumpy because the mylar is a little bit bigger than the nail is, but that will all get sorted out when I file it. So are you doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? Um, I don't usually do something I used to do in uh, my younger days, but I don't now um, so much. So I've got the practice finger now and I've put that white nail tip into it because I want to get a bit closer up to the camera. I want to try and do this freehand so I start off with the dotting tool and I just put my dots to make four little hearts and then I use the dotting tool just to join those up into hearts, the dots, and then I use my detailer brush and I just join everything together and then I just slowly increase it, make the gel polish come outward so that it is the, the shape that I want. And I do keep curing that for 10 seconds just to flash cure it and make everything stay where it is. So this creamy green colour is called Good Luck. So I'm using this to paint the shamrock. And then I'm doing a little stalk just coming off it. And then after that, I'm going to do an outline of the shamrock. And for this one, I'm going to use the glittery green and gold. And that's called shamrock glow. And that's going to be for the outline of the shamrock. And then underneath off camera, I did do another shamrock using the lighter green. And that is called little secret. So I did do a swatch video of all these colours that came in the pot of gold collection. So if you've not seen that, I will put a link to it in the description box so you can see all of the colours if you want to. And then I'm using the gold glitter one, which is called 24K. And that I'm just putting some dots all around on that nail. So that's the nail art finished on that one. And then all I need to do now is just top coat it. So I'm using the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm just top coating all of those nails. Obviously, you can see that they've all been filed now, those mylar ones. And I really love the way that top coat brings that mylar to life. I really do like these nails. So I did do a couple of top coats on this nail art nail just because it was coming out from the surface a little bit where I put the gold dots. So I just wanted that all to be smooth. You can also do a base coat first and then a top coat. So yeah, I'm really happy with these nails. What do you think? Um, I really like them and I'm really pleased with that mylar. I love the way it looks. And I think it goes really well with the, um, the coloured gel polishes and the, and the builder gel as well. So this is them all finished and all top coated. And that's all been cured now. So I'm just showing you over a light background and then I'll show you in my like sort of photo box over a dark background as well because that really makes the colours pop. So yeah, I hope that you like this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification. So I do have a discount code for Madam Glam. If you want to take advantage of that, it will be at the top of the screen and that'll give you 35% off your order if you want to do that. And as usual, all links to everything that I've used in the video will be in my description box. So that's it for this one. Have a lovely St. Patrick's Day if you do celebrate it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.